guys, Crazy Postman here. Once again, I am going to battle into the BTC trenches in Lawton, Oklahoma. I got some new weapons to try out. I have firmware version 148, and I also have a new capture program for my computer. It looks like it's gonna make it much easier for me to actually capture the data. Uh, that's not necessarily gonna help it work, but it'll make it easier on me, so I'm all about that. Thanks, BTC, for putting the time into that one. Well, I will talk to y'all in a few minutes when I get to Lawton, and we will try out firmware version 148 on that very stubborn and pesky high-powered BTC power station. Ugh. I sure wished it would work. All right, guys. You know the routine by now. Here we are at the Lawton, Oklahoma. This is one of the 350 amp high power BTC stations, so we're going to see if we can get this bad boy working. I'm going to first try uh, the factory firmware on this uh, number two adapter. It's loaded with uh, firmware 141. This is the current factory version that everybody gets right now, so we're going to try that out. So here we go with attempt number one with the factory firmware. This guy's gonna come right over the top of me. There he comes. There he goes. Medivac. All right. Okay, here we go. I may have waited too long. We'll see if this uh, happens to work. This is just saying wait. Initializing, yeah, this is gonna error out on communication error. It may have been because I waited too long to start it once I put it together. We'll try it again. We got this apart. We're gonna clear that. We're gonna put this back together now. Okay, it says authorizing payment. Payment authorized. Initiating. Computer is not saying anything now. Charge failed, communication failed. All right. Just for grins, I'm gonna try it without the monitoring software plugged in. So let's uh, unhook this and just try it like a normal person would, you know? Nope, that ain't gonna work either. I'm about done trying this uh, factory firmware. I'm gonna move on to the uh, experimental firmware here. I forgot to hit record, sorry. So I just tried with the experimental firmware version 142. Uh, the computer did say some things this time, but it still didn't look like it was gonna work and it actually didn't. It still finished. It says communication failed here on the screen. All right, just for grins, let's try out the good old uh, Chatamo adapter. I know uh, I tried it last week here and it didn't work either. These BTC stations are quite something else, let me tell you. Okay, it's latched. So we're gonna put this bad boy in the car. And now we're gonna hit the hit the RFID and it's gonna ask me again if Chatamo is plugged in. Usually. Yes. If plugged in, press Chatamo. So you hit Chatamo and then it starts. We'll see what happens here. So the Chatamo didn't work either. 
it just says communication failed here so it's not a hundred percent always that CCS adapters fault like I say these high-powered BTC units are a sh show and I hope I wish somebody from BTC was watching this and could see how horrible their units are everybody's saying well why do you keep going back to the same station if it never works it's obviously this is a bad station this is actually the only station I've ever had good luck with I've tried the other three stations and I haven't gotten any of them to work either so it's not just this station it's something in the firmware of these BTC chargers that just do not agree with adapters and but there's one over there somebody has uh, pulled it out and left it down on the ground like that that's the unofficial symbol that somebody's tried that and it didn't work you know don't don't park here so I that last one I'm probably not even gonna bother with um, I may move down one and try let's see we're gonna move over to the other station just so I can say I tried everything this week with firmware version 148 so here we go we're gonna try again I'm at a different station I have the firmware version 148 in my hand here so let's give her a go open says me oh my goodness why won't that open if it's not something it's something else let me tell you okay payment authorized we have uh, information scrolling here. Not sure if y'all can see that. Stuff is clicking in the car, actually. Is it charging? Okay, so this is one of the times. All right, let me put y'all back down. This is one of the times where the station says it's charging actually the station doesn't say it's charging see it just quit it says charging failed isolation test failed but the car thinks it's charging come with me real quick sorry y'all are on a tripod this is going to be interesting so oh it says charging stopped now okay so it did say charging but with zero kilowatts so weird see i'm receiving one volt from the station let me try a few more times here we'll try to do this again so all right let me reset it all that's reset that is plugged in it's plugged into the car authorizing payment payment authorized okay let's listen one click two clicks now we just need this to click the car's ready the car thinks it's charging but the station will not start look see the car says it's charging. It's just not getting any power. The station still says initiating. Isolation test failed. So, I don't know. I mean, this is, this. it did this last time at this station here. I don't know, guys. Let me try again. Let's let's save this information 
and we'll try again. Actually, you know what I want to try real quick? I want to try the Chatamo adapter here on this one too. So that's what I'm going to do real fast. Grab this Chatamo here. It's getting hot out here. It's probably in the 80s. Okay. Oh, I should have snapped that in first probably. These are super hard. Okay, it's in. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael, please. There he is. Please. Chatamo. Hit it with my card. See, stuff clicked. I heard the charger click. There's a little green light. The little green light is on. On the adapter. So it's... That clicked. Charging failed. Charging permission failed. I wonder, okay, now this is just me. I have no proof of anything, obviously. I wonder if BTC has disallowed all adapters. So let's check this, we'll try again. If anybody's wondering why I'm wearing the cast, that's because last Sunday when I was here and I was shoving this adapter on, I sprung it. That's how hard uh, it is. I'm not saying it won't be hard, but we can make it work. All right, we're gonna try one more time. Okay, it's clicked. Okay, I'm gonna t bring you all over here. Actually, I'll just use this little guy. I'll show you where it says permission failed. Charging permission failed. What does that even mean? I can't even get the Chatamo adapter to work. Like I said, none of these stations are working. I worked that one over there five or six times. I've tried this one four or five times now with both the CCS and the Chatamo adapter. I don't know if BTC has just disallowed all adapters. I, I don't know what's going on here. Like I said, Last week, I tried the 50 kW BTC stations, and it worked fine on all three adapters I've had. I tried multiple CCS adapters, and I tried, obviously that one hanging there is my uh, Chatamo adapter. So, I just don't know. It, I guarantee you, I'm not going to do it because I've been here too long already but I could go over there to those stations right over there. There you go. I could go to those stations over there and both of these adapters would work perfectly. The problem is there's such an EV boom right now. The manufacturers are just worried about making as many of these machines as they possibly can. And you know, they're not too worried about the reliability. They just want them out there on the streets. Looking at you, BTC. Ugh. I'm giving up on this one. Thanks for watching this episode, and I'm sure I will see you next week with uh, firmware version 149 or 150. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in a few days. And there goes my uh, POV camera. It wants me to plug the vehicle in again. Or actually it's saying that it's not plugged in. Oh shit. <laughs> I unplugged it and the machine started going. <laughs> that can't be good. <laughs> Uh, you know what would not be cool is a 480 volt arc. <sighs> that bird is awfully cheerful. If it knew how disappointed I was right now, he wouldn't be singing so pretty over there. Bird, quit singing. I'm upset. You're supposed to be upset with me. Why are you having such a good time?
Oh, now you're getting loud? <laughs> it is actually kind of a beautiful day here today. Got the uh, trees budding out. Got the birds having a good time. It's not very windy, so, you know, there is that. It is pleasant to be out here right now, but let's give this little bastard a try. 